I, I got a range on him. 44? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's charging us. He's charging us. Alright, I got a shot. You know what? I told myself I wasn't going to make any videos about this game, but screw it. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy, Blue. And this, my friends, is Way of the Hunter. And we're currently here at Dustin's... I think you shut the door. Uh, we're at Dustin's cabin. And I'll show you where that is real quick. Way out here to the southwest of the map. And uh, he has a bit of a problem. And uh, we'll talk about it while we're on the way. We head outside. Beautiful game, beautiful game. Definitely beautiful. Uh, definitely it has its bugs in the current version uh, that I'm using right now, but it is definitely a beautiful game and it is at such a massive, massive map. It's huge. Uh, but we're gonna hop into our camo Jeep and we're gonna go for a drive. Uh, so basically, uh, Dustin, what was that noise? Oh my God. All right, so, <laughs> sound issues. Uh, so Dustin, our friend Dustin, whose cabin we just drove from, uh, he went out, I guess, hunting or whatever, and he found a amazing, massive bear. And he shot it, but it was a sloppy shot, and he didn't kill the bear. Uh, he just shot it, and now the bear is severely hurt, and it's actually taking out its anger and pain on other animals in the area, such as elk, deer, stuff like that. So our mission um, is to actually go against his wishes of staying out of the forest and going out here and seeing if we could put this bear out of its misery. You know, put this bear down. We don't know really what we're up against. To be honest, um, I'm still quite a noob at this game and I have actually never killed a bear. Whoops. And uh, almost killed ourselves. Uh, but I've never killed a bear before. So uh, I don't really know what we're up against too much. Uh, once we kind of get close by, I'll show you guys what weapons we're using. Um, but it's kind of exciting. It's my first bear hunt. And I think once we finish this mission, we may get access to his, uh, to his reserve. So that'd be pretty nice. But yeah, beautiful game, beautiful. Obviously has its issues, its bugs, but I've been really enjoying it. Trying to play through the story, play through the mission, unlock some of the different reserves and um, you know, fill up my trophy lodge and uh, just upgrade my weapons. I just got a, a new weapon. I got a, a new uh, new scope as well. So again, I'll show you that once we park, we're almost there. I'm also trying to unlock the achievement where you have to drive a certain amount of kilometers or meters uh, so that your car makes less noise and uh, animals get less afraid of it. Uh, that's my next goal. So I'm kind of driving quite a lot, but it's definitely not smart to drive around um, too much. You don't want to get too close to what you want to, you know, hunt. So uh, I believe I set our marker a little bit just outside of the uh, the area where the bear was last known, so that uh, we don't spook it from too far out. The bear is—I've never hunted a bear. <laughs> I don't know really what to expect, um, but we're parking right here at the bridge. And I'm actually gonna turn it around because, you know, I like to have a way out. So in case things get hot and we gotta run for our lives, I want the Jeep hot and ready, gassed up and ready to go. So here we are. Let me show you guys what weapons we're rocking with today. We'll come back here to the vehicle storage in the trunk. And we are using the, uh, let's see, it's the Sterl Carbon, Carbon CL2 uh, with a Lupode x6 hd 318 by 44 uh magnification lens or however you say that uh and we also have our that secondary weapon our uh, steer pro hunter 2 which we'll use for um you know like deer smaller game but for the for the buttons i'm sorry for the bear we're gonna need a hunter tier 6 and that's what this gun is gonna be good for i don't have a bear collar or anything like that so i don't even know if that exists we do have some binoculars we have the bushnell prime 10 by 42 these are the best binoculars currently in the game uh, but i wish you could like zoom them in like i hope they add some newer better ones later but anyways let's get out here and take care of this bear okay before we get started i've actually run into a bit of an issue so if you look at the bottom right of your screen you can see there's an arrow that says 6.7 meters per second that's the wind so the winds are not in our favor if we look at the map uh you will see that this 
big circle is kind of like the last known area that the bear was in and with us with the wind going you know he's gonna smell us basically and uh so it's not gonna be a good idea honestly to approach this area from this side of the map so what i think i'm going to do is i'm actually going to instead i'm going to fast travel to a campsite that i found over here and then we're gonna drive uh actually i don't think i can spawn a truck there uh yes yeah. so we got to what we got to do is to spawn uh and drive from the other side and make our way in uh from the other side yeah that's what we're gonna do <laughs> Look at fourth gear. Bum. Feels like in fourth gear. Bum. All right, we finally made it to the other side of <laughs> uh, the zone where the bear is known at. It actually took me about. 10 almost 15 minutes just to drive all the way back here from uh the original like uh ranch yeah it's this map is massive it really is uh you just have to get in here so anyways now <laughs> it's a couple hours later i think and uh the wind is in our favor so now it's time to do the real hunting so i uh, don't really know where to start we're just gonna kind of walk into the zone uh when we rolled up here we actually spooked a bunch of uh they were probably elk i didn't get a look at them i just heard them running away but yeah so we'll get off the road and hopefully find some clues to where this bear is all right we are in the zone uh this is where the last known location of the bear was definitely gonna keep my rifle handy in case we come in contact with him by surprise uh he may know we're coming before we see him i see a uh, couple mule deer out there, a couple females. Uh, it's probably a whole herd with, uh, what is that? Another mule deer, two star up there on the hill. Yeah, we're not hunting them today. Uh, one thing I wonder about this game, and I haven't tried it because I haven't done any bear hunting, but uh, in real life, when bears hear gunshots, some of them, when bears hear gunshots, they tend to come towards the gunshot because they know they may be able to get a easy meal uh, and steal the kill away from us but I don't know that they simulate that uh, I actually see another female is that a male that's a female right there so I got one two three four oh there's a whole a whole family of mule deer here is that a yeah, there's a young male again I won't bother them today we're not here for that um, but I want to stay clear that might have been what I saw earlier yeah, let's go ahead and continue this way. The type of bear we're looking for today is called the American Black Bear. The Black Bear, also called the American Bear, is the most common bear found in the forest of North America, including parts of Mexico. Males can be up to 70% heavier than the females. The head is small, but it's supported by a strong neck. The ears are small and rounded. The curved claws are non-rejectile. <laughs> and unlike cats and dogs, bears walk on the soles of their feet. So we need a hunter hunting tier six rifle, which is what we're using. Recommended hit energy is between this and that. Uh, life cycle, basically, which means what they do day to day. Uh, so right now it is 1421, which is 221 p.m. So around this time, he should probably be feeding. Uh, so we may want to find some type of feeding area. Um, I don't know where that would be. But we're going to start looking around for it, uh, especially where, where we're going to start. We are expecting the uh, bears who maybe be bleeding or injured um, and extremely aggressive. So um, you got to watch out. Oh, what do we have here? These are some pretty big tracks. American black bear tracks. All right, we have a trail. Hold on, we have another thing over here. And we're spooking everything right now. Jesus, all the mule deer are just running away. That's all right, again, we're not searching for them. It was a pretty decent sized herd there. So we're gonna see what this is. That's a uh, mule deer, new discovery, that's a, a eating zone so we'll keep that in mind for next time we're hunting mule deer in the future and uh, this is probably a feeding area as well yeah looks like it yep 
So, all right, so let's go back to those those bear tracks. You can so easily get distracted by all the different tracks mix matching. I don't know what direction these tracks are going. I think they're going this way. Yeah. Uh-oh, what was that sound? Yeah, let's follow them this way and see where they lead to. They're not straight, so he didn't go in a straight line. Or actually, we'll go, I think, the other way. It seems like he was walking the other direction. I'm pretty sure that's the front of his foot. Yeah, that's the front. So let's follow the other direction. There's his feet. Boom, boom. Boom. Yeah, I'm gonna stay crouched because I don't want him to know we're coming. Alright, I've already lost his tracks. This is actually gonna be harder than I thought. And uh, we're just gonna head down towards the, uh, the river and see if he went down there so we can find any more tracks down there. Again, it's around his feeding time, so he's been looking for something to eat, and uh, maybe he'll take a quick sip again. And one of the things that I plan to do uh, while sneaking around, because I don't want to spook it, he could see, smell, or hear me uh, before we find him. There's some more tracks right here, actually. Yep, there they are. Big old feet. That's a big dude. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do like basically a perimeter of the area first and then work my way in the circle. Uh, at least that's my idea. We'll see how well that works. But you see like the tracks kind of like, they go cold real quick. You see a few and they just disappear. It's nothing like tracking like herbivores. Herbivores have, I feel like more tracks and they have game trails that you can see in the grass and in the bushes. Uh, with the carnivores, uh, they don't they don't create game trails in the game. So uh, you kind of see a few tracks and then you don't. And if you're like me, uh, or if you're new and you know you come from like the hunter call the wild, um, it's definitely something to get used to. Is is trying to to track. Uh, tracking is very different. It's a little bit more difficult. Something to get used to. Uh, it's definitely a challenge. It's a challenge in real life. And uh, I think it should be a challenge. It's just something to get used to, as I said. And the hunter sense does help a little bit. Um, but it's still very tricky um, to even find after you've shot something. But he could literally be anywhere. Okay, day two. So I decided to head back to the camp and uh, get a quick night's sleep and head back out much earlier in the morning. I was a little worried that because we drove the Jeep up so close to the bear, uh, the bear's territory, uh, we might have spooked it because we spooked like a whole herd of elk and a whole herd of uh, mule deer. So just in case I decided um, I wanted to uh, kind of go ahead and start fresh in the morning and uh, I'll just take the hike all the way over there so uh, it's gonna take a while <laughs> but I, be careful good morning i don't want to spook all the bear away huh well look what i found what is this american black bear need zone often okay so this is what i was looking for earlier let's gonna mark this location down. Interesting. So there's a need zone right here and way over there. Gotcha. So it's not feeding time can, according to the lifespan, the daily lifespan. It's actually uh, supposed to be coming up on time to drink. Uh, time to get something to drink. So we're near some mule deer. I have not spotted a, a bear yet, but I am on the trail, so we're still on the lookout. I keep hearing stupid mule deer everywhere. Oh wait, that's a black bear. 
That's a different black bear. That's a female black bear. It's calm. And it's outside the circle? Yeah, that's technically outside the circle over there. But not that far out. Okay, we're looking for a male bear, not a female. So that, that's not our suspect. So let's keep looking. So according to the in-game encyclopedia, it says that uh, American black bears are supposed to uh, be possibly near the drinking zones around 7 a.m. It is now 7 a.m. So we could wait here and wait for something to show up or we could find us a somewhere to hide. Um, I haven't found the bears drinking zone yet uh, but we are next to the only river in the area so um, we should be alone this river somewhere there it is there it is shh, shh. All right, I don't think that is our bear I, I'm pretty sure we're looking for a male Right. He's he's suspicious or she's suspicious. Let me double check real quick. Harvest the aggressive bear. It just says aggressive bear. It doesn't say it's a male or a female. So is that our bear? <laughs> it's been making a lot of noise. This is the only bear I've found nearby. We're just outside of the area i spotted her right over here yeah so that's a bit outside of the zone so it makes me believe that that is not our bear and that is just an innocent female american black bear okay here it is i think we found our bear there it is american black bear male 200 meters roughly at our 12 o'clock heading 330. I'm gonna start doing the super sneak by hitting the control, left control on my keyboard. That'll make us walk super slow and then pressing F. If you don't know, F is the auto walk button. It is a game changer and a lifesaver. So this is the sneakiest as I can be. We are already downwind from him. And uh, he's about 200 meters. It's going to take us a while to, to walk this slowly to get up to him. But I don't want to spook him. Because I only may have one chance at this. Alright, he is on the move. He was there. Now he's there. He's definitely on the other side of this hill ahead of us. Uh, roughly 150 meters. So I'm just taking it really slow. Trying to stay behind bushes. Uh, stay out of line of sight. Uh, he can't hear us yet. He shouldn't be able to smell us. Um, but this is going to be a close one. We may pop up. We may be ready to pop up 50 meters less or 100, 100, less than 100 meters away from him. And we have to be ready to take a shot as soon as we have a positive ID on him. Yep, now he's down there. So roughly 100 meters away. He's still calm. Let's keep it that way. And he's going to be right on the other side of his hill. I'm going to kind of go off to my left here. Again, just kind of looking for cover and making sure if we do pop up over this hill and get eyes on him, uh, that we have a bush or a rock to hide behind so he does not see us and we can get a clear stable shot. Oh, I got eyes. I got eyes. Binoculars. Right there. 116 meters. I'm going to hide behind this bush here. I'm actually going to go off to the left of it. Let me mark it, actually. Where is he? There he is. Right there. I'm going to mark that spot. 113 meters. I don't have a good shot. I have just, just the butt crack. That's all I got right now. But uh, we can kind of hang out here and see where he's going. I'm actually going to get my rifle ready just in case we get, do get a shot. We can take it. 112, we're going to get our uh, we'll zero in. Our sights for 100, that's good enough. 
That would be dope if he could turn around. Uh, if not, what we could do is we could head down the hill a bit. Uh, so I think that's where he's going. And we do not want him to spot us. Because uh, we're not sure how he's going to react. Uh, the bears that I've seen so far in-game uh, usually are more scared of us. And it looks like he stopped moving. He's still calm. Uh, they're more scared of us than we are of them, and they usually run away when spotted. But this bear is uh, known to be aggressive, a four-star mature male calm. Oh, I am adding that to the trophy case. Absolutely. All right, we are... Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on, where's my freaking gun? Get the gun out, take the gun out. He's walking away. Come on, just turn. I just need you to turn sideways. Okay, he's going downhill. Let's head back to the... This is going to be tricky. Oh, there he is. I think I got a shot, guys. This might be the best shot we get right here. I got my rifle out. I think it's the right one. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, go on. Oh, we missed it. Freaking juggling rifles. I thought I pulled the wrong one out. Man, he was right there. Now, the terrain is really rugged, making it very difficult. Uh, to keep eyes on him because he's actually kind of like in a bit of a, a crevice there. But he is right behind all of that. He is not far at all. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to this bush here. Wait for him to pop out, get a drink of water, and then BAM! Get him. Hopefully we can stay in this bush. And hopefully he still makes his audible sound. There he is. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? There he is. I see him. I see him. All right. All right. Right here. Stop right here. Stop right here. All right. We're going to just hide in this bush. All right. I got a range on him. 44? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's charging us. He's charging us. I got a shot. Hold on. I think he knows we're here. I think he sees us. I think he sees us. What's the range in that? 62. Is he really that close? Now I could pop him in the spine, but I'm not guaranteed to make that shot. I got 50 zeroed in in case he charges again. He's thinking about it. He's definitely inside 100 meters. Oh, my heart is racing right now. What are you going to do, Bear? What are you going to do, Teddy? Okay. I think he might be about to give us a shot here. Oh, don't turn around. Don't turn around. I hear you, buddy. Don't turn around. Come on down. Oh my god. There's a second bear. There's multiple bears. Crap. Alright, this is definitely our guy though. That's definitely our, our bear. There's another bear down here. I think that's the female bear we saw earlier. Yes, yes it is. Alright, so we have target confirmed. Positive ID. This is our bear. Our injured bear. Uh, problem is he's walking away from us. 63 meters. I just need him to turn around or turn sideways. Give me a clear shot. And uh, we'll go for it. Alright, we're going to move just over here to this other set of bushes and hopefully get a clear shot. Uh oh, he's alerted. He's alerted. He's alerted. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's alerted. 
Okay, there he is. I see him. There he is. I'm really trying not to... Sh okay, we might have a shot coming. Alright, range. 59 meters. Looking dead at us. Here we go. I really hope that killed him. Bear is... Oh, he's not down. He's not down. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on, stay down. Stay down. Oh, he's like a teddy bear. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it took us two. It should have took us one shot, but it took us two shots. Sheesh. Okay, I'm just watching my back because there's another bear behind me. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to get sneak attacked. All right, let's go get our... Let's get our... My, <laughs> I can barely talk. My heart is beating so fast. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Instant kill. Yeah, I don't know where we hit him the first time, but that second one was an instant kill. There he is. There's our bear. There is our bear. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. Gotta catch my breath. That give me a photo, too. All right, how do we do? So it took us two shots, shot one. Oh yeah, so here's the thing is, I've been shooting deer this whole time and really wasn't knowledgeable about the anatomy of a bear. Did not realize that his lungs and heart was that far back. Look how massive his lungs are. Yeah, I, I aimed here. If this was a deer, that would have been a lung shot. Um, but this is a bear. So I missed all the bones. It was really just a flesh wound that first shot. The second shot from the front uh, went straight through the bone and into the lung and then directly into the heart, giving us that insta-kill. So that second shot was much better. Uh, been better if we did not hit the bone, but we still got him. Uh, so yeah, first shot was a bad shot. Thankfully, thankfully, we got a second chance because if not, we would have probably lost him forever. But whoo, man, my first bear hunt. Sheesh. Oh my God, I'm definitely going to taxidermy this one. Um, and, and add it to my hunter, hunter lodge, lounge, whichever, and, uh, and enjoy that. So man, yes, first bear hunt we survived. I can't believe it. It's only worth $210 uh, anyway, so not worth it to sell it. We'll just keep it for ourselves and uh, put it into the man cave. All right, back at Dustin's cabin, and we'll see what the note says. I cannot thank you enough for ending the poor bear's misery. You've proven to me that you are a worthy hunter, even better than me. You are welcome to use my land freely. Sweet. We unlocked some more land. I'll take that. Well, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, no real bears were hurt in the making of this video. But until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time next video. I'm out.